The following is a video tutorial on how to make longitudinal radiogram displays on a tunnel in GPRSLI software. We first create a project called Tunnel Longitudinal. This is a GSSI SIR 3000 equipment. Created the project. We then transfer data into the project. The next we need to make a Y information file. We don't need to have any lengths along the X, but we do need to have the length along the tunnel which is along Y. We'll set it to uh, 35 meters. We then just import all the data and it creates an information file along the Y axis uh, at 35 meters. If you do need it to adjust any of the line lengths, you can do it in this menu. We do have to get the time window and the samples per scan for this data set, just like with any equipment. Uh, the next step is to convert this information to a vector file. We click, click, click this button and we'll click the No to create a vector information file. And we highlight the info V, which is the vector information file, which also as associated navigation files. The next step is to convert the data and we'll just convert the data with batch k minus wobble and we'll just work with the raw data. The next step is to apply the navigation and we'll just use artificial navigation markers. The next step is to go to the radar pull-down vector longitudinal tunnel warp. And this menu actually has all the main steps that you need to do to create longitudinal uh, vectors and be able to make the longitudinal tunnel displays. We'll just set the tunnel radius to 3. We'll replicate this to all the radiograms and then we'll put in our angles. We're going to start from 90 to go to 270 at a uh, 20 degree uh, distance between each of the profiles along the tunnel. And then we just click this button here, and you only click it once. Don't click it twice, otherwise you have to repeat all the steps. From there, you go to OpenGL 3D Radar Vector Tunnel. And there's our, our, our first radiogram. If you want to look at the next one, it's there. And these are all your tunnel radiograms. You can actually store any plane and go on to the next radiogram and keep showing those on there. Okay, that's the basics on how to show uh, longitudinal tunnel radiograms in GPR Slice software.